to my FTP Let's Play series of University 1.16. Episode 78. I almost said 77, but it's not true. So, we got a lot going on. We are going to make all of these items today, except for this one. Speaking of which, we will be talking about that now. So, I let this uh, game play for quite a while, and I finally have... Drum roll, please. It's my own drum roll. My very own first antimatter pellet. It took forever, and I still need to make another one. What fun. And I'm only at 89 millibuckets, and I don't have any sulfur, but I just let the fission reactor run. And as soon as I get sulfur, it goes out from my system and into the iron chest to work on itself. And then occasionally I'll check on the yellow cake if I need any more. So, I'm not too worried. It's on pretty much automate right now. So, I will tell you in the future episodes if I get another antimatter pellet. And then I'll be able to make this bad boy, which actually you can do quite a lot with this now. Like, you take some flowers, you can make some chorus flowers, which I think I need some cor chorus flowers to make some recipes. And I haven't really explored the end that much. You can also take a regular egg, turn it into a dragon egg, which that's insane to me. I already have a dragon egg, but if I need another, bam. Okay. Where was I? Sorry, sorry, sorry. There we go. And then, like, from yellow wood to glowstone, lapis lazuli block. What I'm most excited for, though, is to changing diamonds to emeralds. Emeralds for some... Like, I was getting emeralds left and right at the very beginning of the series, but now they're, they're nowhere to be found. And it'll only take about four millibuckets of antimatter, which is nothing compared to the thousand millibuckets you need to make one antimatter pellet. So, that's nice. And you can take a beacon, turn it into an end crystal. Which, to me, that's crazy. Crazy nonsense. Which means you can probably summon the dragon again. Anywho, I digress. So, today we are going to make all of these items. We're also going to make the items for the portal for Botania. We're not I'm not going to set it up until next next episode. I feel like that is a bit enough. I just wanna make the materials that way. I don't have to worry about it. Oops. Eh. Come on, get through the portal. Thank you. Alright. So also remember how I stated I didn't know how to make Terra Steel? Well, it turns out you put the sparks on top of the mana pool, you put the spark here, and then it transfers the mana. And I don't, I, it took me a while. I wish uh, wish I found the information faster. Uh, but I have about five Terra Steel ingots. I kind of waited until the mana pools to start filling up again. Um, to be really honest, I'll show it to you. Like, because you didn't see it in the last episode. I feel like uh, you got chipped. So, we'll do that today. Let's see, one Ender Pearl. I'm starting to run out of, starting to run low on under pearls. I might have to go back to the end and farm some. Uh, enter pearl and then mana steel. You yeah, have quite a bit because eh, stuff things. No, just kidding. Um, because I decided to give put a stack into the mana pool. Say diamonds. All right, we'll change you to that, and then change you to that. So basically, what you do. is put that there, there, and there, and you wait, and it starts to magically change it. As you can tell, it's using a lot of mana. It'll have probably use half a mana pool's worth to make one Terra Steel ingot. There you go. Boom. And we're gonna have to... I saw that I just grabbed my spark. Was not my intention. Okay. So that's how the Terra Steel ingot is made. So I have six now. All right. So, with that being said, let's start off with the first item, which is the Agri, Agri Carnation. Actually, hold on a minute. Where's my quest book? There it is. Yes, we will make this first. 
Because the Aggrocarnation will use mana to speed up the growth of nearby planes. So actually is very useful. I will probably move... Maybe not move, but set up a nice little mana pool and a flower there to speed up the my crops in the future. I still need to self-automate that stuff, but for now we're just making it. So we're going to need a Rune of Spring, which I've already kind of made. It's all these items. It's kind of crazy. So, all right, we'll make this first. So Rune of Spring. Rune of Spring. Yellow Mushroom. Green and two Lime. And I think one of these. Yes. And there you go. Could make it. All I need is some seeds. I have the seeds and bada bing bada boom. I made the uh, Agricarnation. Alright. Now... We're going to skip these items here and go straight to Jaded Amethyrus, which I probably am butchering the word. But basically, this will use mana to generate mystical flowers nearby, which I think that is well needed because I don't have all, I don't have a crap ton of flowers, but I feel like it's needed and I'll probably put it over there somewhere. There we go. So, start with the next one there, and then I think these are all the items. Bam, 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 and bam. Yep. And there you go. I now have the Jaded Amethyst, which I'll probably put over here. Ooh, nice. I'll take that. Another one. Nice. Okay. I kind of want to even this out a bit here. Let me grab some dirt here. 25. No, I don't, want, I don't want coarse dirt. There we go. That way it's all nice and evened out. There. And then I will put this bad boy right here. Which... Oh. It is making flowers rather quickly already okay well there you go it's already doing its little <clears throat> little task i'm liking this already and it's quick very nice okay so we got that made let me take that off so we'll make this which i i suppose i was supposed to make it so Let's take this, let's... Let's just make this rather quickly. It's a mana tablet which helps you have mana on hand. I don't want to use the mana pearl. I think ender pearls are more rare than diamonds. And there we go, we now have a mana tablet. It wasn't in our um, quest book, but I feel like it was a much needed Thing. So I don't know. Do I just put this in here and it'll charge it up? No. I will figure this out soon. Wait a minute. There you go. Now it's actually uh, filling it up. Nice. So look at that. Honestly, I'll leave it overnight. That way the mana pool gets full again. That way I have a full, almost full mana tablet. Oh, is it already full? Why, yes it is. Cool. I now have a full, <clears throat> excuse me, mana tablet. Alright, now we got that out of the way. Next is the mana mirror, which is... That one item I think we discussed in the last episode. Mana Mirror will allow mana using items in your inventory to use mana from a mana pool instead of a mana tablet. So basically it requires all these fancy stings and another mana tablet. So it's actually the main reason why I wanted to make the mana tablet in the first place. But we'll make another one. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We'll use the actual Ender Pearl too. Might as well. And there we go. Get the mana tablets. Uh, and then a wig, which I think it just requires living wood. Do I not have? Okay, it's right there. Yep, there we go. Living twig. And I got that, got that, got that, got that, and a mana tablet. I think we should be good to go to make this bad boy. And no, I still need a mana pearl. Okay, maybe I should have not done that. That's okay. Sorry if this episode is going longer than 10 minutes. I know, I knew it was going to, but I really wanted to get a lot of stuff done. And try to speed things up a bit. Here we go. We now made the mana mirror. So, uh... Oh. Is it just taking the mana? Interesting. I'm actually still confused on how this works. <laughs> Hold on. Mana mirror, where are you? The mana mirror allows mana using items in your inventory to use mana from a mana pool instead of a mana tablet. Uh, okay. Instead of using the mana tablet, it goes straight into a mana pool, but the only thing I have that's mana is the mana mirror. That's interesting. Click on it, and then it'll just keep... Okay, neat. Alright, now we got that one done. Let's make a spark. Basically, spark helps transfer a ton of mana into one specific area. I just want to make this. It's not even in my, like, quest book, but... We'll just make one of these. Oh, I need blaze powder. No worries. I'll make a couple of those. I'm going to actually need more blaze rods soon. And then, bam, I now have a spark. Which, it will be right here. So I have three sparks on these three ma and three mana pools. Alright, now that's finished. Let's make the portal. Portal. Which, I'm going to be needing, like, three... Glimmering living wood and an elven gateway. That's pretty easy. The portal to Elfheim is more a crafting mechanic than a portal. You can't actually go to Elfheim. Follow the building constructions according to Alexa Bonica. Provide it with mana and throw it in specific items. Get other items with it. It should be a good idea to start with the Lexica Bonica itself. So, we are not doing this today. We are just going to make the items. We are going to do this in the next episode. So, be prepared. Hoo ha! All right. Make one, two, three. And then make the gateway, which I can. Bam. And there you go. Quest complete. Yay. Huzzah. Okay. Holy cow. I might have to move this farther away. Holy cow. Like, I didn't know it was going to make this many plant, uh, plants as quickly. Yeah, that's the wrong plant. We'll put you right here. But yeah, that's that's insane to me. That's cool, too. Definitely gonna have to find a way to, like, mine all this. That's really, really cool. And it's really, really quick, too. I didn't even notice it. Anyways, this is gonna be the end of the, end of the episode. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. I will also be live streaming on Wednesdays and Thursdays since it's the month of October. I'll be live streaming some scary games like Amnesia, Outlast. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. Sorry about that. Uh, Outlast, um, Resident Evil, stuff like that. So, I don't know what game I'm going to be playing on Wednesday, but I sure hope to see you there. And anyways, hope you all take it easy. Stay safe out there. <laughs>